Welcome back to Toy Art. I'm your host, Zach Kinsella, and today we are talking Storm Collectibles Zongief. Let's get to it. All right, Zongief. Let's take a look at him. He's a big, beefy guy. Like, so true to the original Street Fighter designs. And Zongief's been one of my favorites for years. He's always been one of my go-to fighters. Being a big pro wrestling fan, and that the Japanese always had to put in a pro wrestling figure into their fighting games, I am here for it. So, looking around, seeing what he looks like, I hope you get a good idea of like his scale and the face, um, the chest, all the good details that come around. We're going to get into a little bit that a little bit later, but I really went a little bonkers on this one. I really wanted to show off some of the pro wrestling moves that he can do because I was a little surprised by this figure. And I'll talk about why in a few moments. But really, like, there was a big surprise to it. But at the same time, it came out to be something that was a positive rather than a negative. So I really want to, like, prepare for that. So what you're going to see coming up here is, like, Zangief doing some of his, like, uh, classic moves. Like a nice lariat. Um, I didn't do, do the spinning, like, clothesline for some reason. But you can also see, um, as he does that lariat... He's punching the crap out of a tiny little Fisto. And hopefully you get a sense of size for this character as I'm showing you like how he's uh, he's going to pick him up for a suplex. And then after that, we're looking at like doing that classic Zangief pile driver, that spinning pile driver. It's always been one of my favorite moves for Zangief. So like, and then of course a nice victory pose with his fingers up doing the whole um, yes movement before it was yes. Just looking amazing. Zangief, everybody. So, if you don't know, with toy art, what I like to do is to go ahead and do a turnaround of the figure so you can get an idea what it looks like. Then we go into the sculpt. After that, I talk about paint. And then there's going to be a little bit of a different um, feel to this one because I want to talk about some of the accessories and then really get into uh, what makes this different and some final thoughts. So, with that in mind, Zangief, let's get into the turnaround. So, let's lift him up. I can't lift him up too close because he's too damn big. So, here's the front. Here's the side. Here's the back. And the side again. All things considered, like, this is a pretty hefty toy. Honestly, like, he is a, you know, beefy is definitely the word for this. So coming up close, you can kind of see, like, the details in the face. They really let the sculpt talk for itself. Like, you can see a little bit of airbrushing around the nipple there. But honestly, they're letting the sculpt be a matte finish. So let's turn them around here. It's all matte. There's a little bit of, of brushing, airbrushing detailing. Um, here and there, but honestly, like the sculpt, you know, as you turn it around, it reflects the light just wonderfully. So there's a weird little like dr paint drip on I got online. So move him around. You can see that they did this. The scars are in 3D. They have a nice depression there, which is pretty cool. They also um, are not red like they are on the video, original video game. They're more of a brownish red. So it's like the scars have healed. Much more modern. Zangief as it goes. Moving lower, you can see those scars continue. Um, the chest hair, actually, when we come back to that, it's got some nice sculpting to it. They didn't do it, it's very dark, and it's the same with the beard and the mohawk. Again, letting a sculpt talk for itself, one of my favorite things. Again, let's move lower. So we've got some great detailing on the boots there, they're very simple. Not a whole lot of lining, but they what an actual wrestling boot would look like. There's the lining right there, and over here as well. There is some toe articulation, so he can do some of his favorite poses. And one thing that caught me off guard is that there's some uh, sculpting down on the bottom here. Looking good. As I turn around the back, you can see like there's some folds right there in the boot. Looking great. It's almost like a Gundam right here with these toe joints, or toe joints, <laughs> uh, knee joints. You can kind of see there's the inner skeleton working, no pins, 
just looking great. You can see these these uh, hinges right there, but that's just fine. So one thing um, with the sculpt I wanted to talk about that kind of threw me off was the, um, you know, like I said, he's beefy, he's big, he's heavy. He's also squishy in some parts, um, which I was surprised by. I was like, this top torso is like, I can really press in there. And I want to talk about this. I'm going to do the same thing right over here real quick. So not going to lie, like I was really <laughs> excited for a big beefy Zongief figure. And one of the things that kind of caught me off guard was this squishy, like, torso kind of thing. Because I was like, man, this is a, it's still, like, a weighty figure, right? However, like, I was like, this is weird, right? Like, this is, like, this squishiness, like, really set me off, honestly. And I was, like, this close to returning it, I'll be honest with you. So I really want to just point out that it's just, like, I don't, this is the first time I've ever gotten a Storm Collectibles figure. So I was just doing a little research and then more so turned into some of us watching a ton of our YouTubers videos. So I just want to make y'all sure y'all know this before you invest in this figure. No surprises, right? Like he's, he's squishy, but I think why they did this is more so for much better posability, a better range of pulling across. Let's see if I can get this. Anyways, I can't. So. A better range of pulling across like he can almost reach across his torso which i think is really like you know if i'm if i want a zangief i want him to be able to power bomb somebody or like you know do sit him down do a <laughs> do a pile driver so that's why this chest is squishy it caught me off guard at first but i still think he's pretty awesome a very fantastic investment so let's get back to the fun you don't want to see more of my face let's go talk about this toy and so that's why i think like this is actually a positive is that like you know this squishiness at first i was really turned off by it but it allows for a much larger range of motion these do come off very easily though so you have to watch out so they go back in really easily so it's not really the biggest deal one thing you have to watch out is that like if you move them too far like these can really get caught inside and that's one thing that I was just like, yeah, but it's all right. He fits just fine. He looks great. It's a minor quip. So that's really what I have to say about the sculpt on this bad mamma jamma. I'll say like thinking about the paint, like I said, they're letting the sculpt talk for itself. You know, there's some like, there's some dry brushing going on over in the, um, on the trunks, especially like right you know, right there in the big boy region. So, but not much else. Everything else is just like one flat matte color, except for the trunks, which is cool. These are also like, the paint's just phenomenal. There's no sloppiness to it. It's a very simple paint job. And that's one thing I really dig about it. Not much else to say. It's classic Zangief Street Fighter. Okay, so he has some accessories accessories so one thing to know is he comes with like a nice like like every street fighter figure i think should come with a really cool like power piece and you can see it right here it comes apart so you can put his hand inside there it comes together i'm not going to put it in here because it's a little tough to get those slots to match up this is what it looks like so it's nice and big it fits over his right hand pretty easily He also has two translucent hands for like a sweet energy grab move. So you can see them right here. They're a little squishier plastic because they are translucent. I'll do a turnaround to show y'all what I'm talking about here. He has about eight pairs of hands <laughs> like it's ridiculous um it's very much like you know you get what you pay for but he also has three heads and so i'm gonna show those heads right now this is the head um that he comes with just his regular face it's, that's blue steel he comes with a slightly angrier face And then, of course, the most awesome, I'm pissed because I'm seeing my own blood, 
battle damaged on Geef face. I thought it was funny when like seeing these faces because like in the movie Spirited Away, you see these faces, uh, three heads kind of jumping around, and I was like, got three extra heads, and I thought, oh man, they look like Zangief, and then like I get those three heads, and like it's Zangief. <laughs> so I thought that was a fun little co connection there. So my final thoughts with this big bad mamma jamma here. I think this is a great indication of what's to come with Storm Collectibles. One something I'm very satisfied with, outside of the weird like plastic um, surprise. Like you really have to um, move them around and make sure his trunks don't get caught in his articulation, that kind of thing. But other than that, such a cool character. Like I can't wait to get King in. I ordered, I pre-ordered him on Big Bad Toy Store, and I'm gonna have a nice like wrestling uh, video game diorama. And I'm really excited for that. So I think you should go grab one if you haven't been the budget for them. They are pricey. They're like $100 figures. Um, so just be warned for that. But I think this is really just a phenomenal Street Fighter figure. I hope a Blanca comes out at some point. Um, Akuma, like just, you know, Vega especially, right? Like, so I'm really hyped for Storm Collectibles. I have all the soda figures from way back in the day and uh, I'm hoping this will replace that collection even though it would be kind of pricey to do so um, so those are my final thoughts strong like bull yes horrible Russian accent aside I'm sorry if I offended anybody <laughs> I love this Zangief he is a fantastic figure something you should definitely take a look at if you're a big Street Fighter nerd like myself huge Street Fighter nerd uh, these dwarfs the soda figures, so definitely not in scale. But it's really tempting me to go out and get some more of these Storm Collectibles figures. Um, in fact, I pre-ordered a King uh, from Tekken. So King versus Zangief, the, the fight of my professional nerdy lifetime, coming soon. Again, thank you so much if you got all the way through this video. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. More importantly, share with a friend who loves Street Fighter. Tell me who your favorite Street Fighter character is. And if you played Marvel vs. Capcom, who's your trio? I want to know. Mine is Zangief Gambit Cable. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.